everybody, it's EK from EK Gorman Designs, and I am sneaking in today with a little die cutting. I have pulled out the uh, Tint and Hippo die from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's from their Critter Collection, which is not the official name of the collection. It's just what I call them. It, if you haven't seen them lately, for, for a little while now, Elizabeth Craft Designs has been releasing some really cool critter dies. So they have all kinds of different animals that you can pose as animal animals or as persona of humans doing human-like things. And I thought it'd be really fun to pull out the tent die and the little himbo and have my little hippo go camping. Ironically, right now I am in Girl Scout camp teaching art to a ton of Girl Scouts. It's a two-week camp that I do every summer. And I'm participating in, uh, I live in Crafts World at camp. I, I, I get to impart my crazy knowledge onto the kiddos and I thought it'd be really fun since I'm in Girl Scout camp to make a Girl Scout camp card. I thought it'd be really fun just kind of play. So I pulled out the new tent die set and I cut all the pieces out onto some uh, 90 pound soft finish white cardstock and then using some distressed ink and my new blending brushes I just kind of colored up the tent. It's, you'll notice it's not difficult, it's not hard. The really fun thing about this brush is I'm not having to clean it and I only need one. I don't need 400, one for each color. I just keep a little wet paper towel and clean the brush off this way. I made a 6x6 six six card and pulled out the best cloud stencil ever. This is the Earth and Sky stencil from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It is hands down the best cloud stencil I've ever come across. And I trust me, I've come across and used tons. This is my favorite. You can tell it doesn't come blue. That's acrylic ink dried on it. And I don't care. I love it. It's my favorite. So just using some tumbled glass and a slightly dirty brush, I created the sky. And then I created the horizon line, still using some tumbled glass ink. And then I wanted to actually add a little ocean. So there's the horizon line, and then there's the ocean line. They kind of blend into each other, but they don't. There's still that, like, look, doesn't it look, not ocean. It looks like a lake. Doesn't it look like a little lake? And then there's the sky. Using some faded jeans, I surrounded the edge just to, so that there's a little bit more dimension between the two. And there you go, very quickly using a stencil and two colors of ink, I was able to create a really cool background on my 6x6 card. Um, I don't know why the post-it tape is failing me. It, it, I, I use this stuff all the time and I've never had it curl like this. I usually can reuse and reuse and reuse and I don't know, something happened. For the grass, I started with, I used just two shades of Distress Eags. I started with the... Um, shabby shutters and just kind of laid down a real pale green and then using a little bit of mowed lawn I again just did the edges of the card so that way there was a little bit of dimension. Finally I pulled out the grass portion of the stencil and just I didn't really do anything special other than just lay some dimension down and once again cleaned off my mat because yeah. To assemble the tent I pulled out some three millimeter clear double-sided adhesive from Elizabeth Craft Designs and just folded, like adhered back the tent flaps permanently so that way, and then adhered the fronting of the tent onto the larger portion of it. And yes, I got it crooked, it happens. We'll all just get over the fact that it's crooked. I went ahead and adhered the tent to the card frame as a whole, letting the tent hide the portions of my distress inking that I wasn't crazy about. Ta-da! I knew I wasn't going to be able to fit my um, adhesive tape onto the poles of the tent, so I pulled out some Kids Choice glue, and that is a clay tool. I like using my clay tools to apply glue exactly where I want them to be. Uh, it's not the clay tool I normally use because my children are once again playing with clay and I've lost all my clay tools to them. But I love them, and I stole this one back, so it works. Yes, it does. But you'll see how easily the glue just kind of adheres the tint to the card frame. It's just perfect. And I love the little details of the wood spikes. Because it's just not a tint without it being implanted into the ground. Now I pulled out the hippo die. Um, this is actually a hippo and rhino set. It can kind of go either way. I chose to make it a hippo. 
It is supposed to stand on four legs, either front view or side view, but because I wanted it to look like a little Girl Scout kind of, I went ahead and had my hippo girl standing on her feet and gave her more of a human persona than just a hippo persona. I wanted it to pass for possibly a, a small camper. I laid down a base color of purple. Yes, she's going to be a purple hippo because I still live in the days of Fantasia where hippos are not gray. But I laid a base line down of color. I, uh, I've, I've kind of toyed going back and forth. Do I color all the pieces and shade all the pieces and assemble them? Or do I lay a base coat down, assemble them, and then really go in and shade? I think, I think I like it best when I lay a base coat of color down, assemble the whole thing, and then really detail the shadowing with my Copic markers. I still could be wrong. Uh, I do love breaking out my Copics when using the Critter dies. I know a lot of people just use ink and kind of just gently lay color down, and I do that too. I, I, I do it regularly. But I really think you can get some special looks if you break, if you're not afraid to color on dies. They're really just you know, free-floating stamped images after all. I think when we die cut things, we get nervous about coloring with our Copic markers because there isn't lines. But I, I don't know, I think if you, if you really take your time and do it, you can get a really special look using your Copic markers on die cuts. I, or at least I find it. And of course, I like the challenge of coloring these guys. You'll notice I'm laying down four different colors of uh, purpley gray ink because I want my hippo to be kind of chubby and fat and nice dimensions on her, despite being the perfect little Girl Scout. Uh, I didn't want her to lose her lovely hippo-ness. The one problem with adhering the hippo down and then coloring it is you have to, if you have any glue seeping, like I did, I had right in the armpits, I had some glue seeping, you get some discolorations with your Copic, but I think it worked. For inside the ear, I just went with a lighter purple or violet or whatever color we're calling it. I love how purple, the, the values of purple are so diverse and, yes. And I'm gluing on the eyes. I just went ahead and used that dark gray purple for the eyes instead of breaking out a gray marker. Now I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. I should have actually put the little ears on before I glued the ears on, because you'll see they overlap and they don't look good. I solved that problem in just a minute. I did leave the mouth so it actually opens up because it's actually perforated so it does can open. I left it open when I glued the face down. So I could tuck the little teethies in. And I love it. I think that I, I don't know, the teeth seem to make this for me. Here's where I fix my ear problem. I pulled out my X-Acto knife and just very carefully cut the excess of the ear, inner ear color off. And I had a little glue there I had to fight with but otherwise it came out okay. I did go ahead and make both a sun and a lantern. I have too much light. I have an excess of light. It's okay. We're all going to accept that sometimes you have your lantern on during the day just in case the sun sets. Right? Right? Yeah, no, I didn't realize that I had made both the lantern and the sun in the same... Regardless, we're all going to get over it. It's fun. <laughs> I do like the little sun accent. I think he's cute. And I adore the little lantern. Um, the detailing on it, I think, is just really cool. So, I have them both, and I'm fine with that. I colored up the lantern just simply gray. I kind of, in hindsight, wish I'd gone with a dark green, because it would have gone with more of that Girl Scout color. I, I really wish I had made more of a classic Girl Scout green color, um, the kind of color that juniors wear, that Kelly green green, but it's okay because I know what the card is for, and I am actually saving it to give to the, to the um, ladies who head up the entire camp as a thank you for running such a successful camp. Shh, don't tell them. It's a little secret between you and me. I did adhere down the hippo with the double-sided adhesive because I really do think it is your best bond. Um, while the glue is great, and I love this glue, I like double-sided adhesive. I think it really does the job of holding things down. I wanted to add shadowing so that the ground doesn't seem flat. So I pulled out my Copic markers, and yes, you can take your Copic markers and color over distress ink. Simply no big deal. And in fact, it blends out 
beautifully. Look, now you now it really feels like it's yay. For the sentiment, I just pulled out a real simple sentiment from the build your own the new build your own sentiment stamp set. Um, I love it. They're just little phrases that kind of can do anything you want it to do. And here's where you learn how bad of a stamper I am. I'm such a bad stamp. I have got to use stamping platform. When I don't use one, you get messes like that. I didn't like how the flap of the tint was blending too much in with the green. So I actually pulled my Copic markers out and just hit it one more time with some gray and really do like how it came out. Thank you for peeking in today at my little coloring video of how I created my little Girl Scout camping card. Uh, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. It'll tell me to make more critter cards like this and you want to see more coloring videos like this. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Girl Scout camp or taught at Girl Scout camp or Boy Scout camp. I've got a son who's done that too. Until then, happy camping. Happy camping. Happy crafting.